Hey everybody, what is up? Fourth Seraph here, and today we have exciting news. DLC 4 got announced, and we got a ton of info about it. Let me just read to you some of the stuff. Um, so this is just kind of the basic thing that they released about DLC 4 individually, and then they also released descriptions of each map. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Salvation is also loaded with four new action-packed multiplayer maps that jettison players from the ancient walls of a medieval fortress to the deceptively quaint setting of a backyard picnic. So, we got a lot of really cool maps. Um, the first two, I'm kind of less excited about than the second two. You will see why in a second if you haven't already heard about these maps. But the first one is called Citadel. There's the description that they gave of this one is once home to a powerful medieval army, this ancient castle now sits broken and abandoned tight corners for close quarter engagements while the moat and drawbridge allows for unique player movement opportunities in this mid-sized map. The last trespassers didn't make it out alive, maybe you'll have a better shot. So this one does actually sound pretty good. You can see that it is a little bit of a smaller map, um, like medium sized but kind of forces close engagements which is what I like, so hopefully that one will be a really good map. This one seems kind of weird, this next one. It's called Micro, what's better than a barbecue on a hot summer day? A miniaturized war zone that takes place on a well-stocked family picnic table. That's what, navigate this bite-sized battlefield for a larger-than-life experience. So this one is very weird. This is their kind of like bright, colorful, in-your-face type of map. Very like fantasy, weird um, and so I don't know how much it'll be like interesting to play on this map. I'm not a fan as much of like the super bright, colorful. I kind of like the darker, like grittier look of the map. It I find it a more immersive experience experience when you feel like a war could actually take place on this map. And so the other maps I think look a little better than this one, but who knows? It could turn out to be really awesome. The next one is where it gets really good, Outlaw. Gear up for a showdown in Outlaw, a western-style reimagining of the fan-favorite map Standoff from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This rough and tough, medium-sized map brings classic engagements, flanking routes, and strategic positions for long and medium-range combat. So this is really exciting. That is an awesome map. I really love this one, and I am glad that they are bringing it back. I think it should work pretty well um, with the new movement system and stuff, too. I think um, it should be pretty well adaptable, and it seems like it'll look pretty cool as well. The Western style could be really cool looking. But this next one is probably the one that I'm most excited about, Rupture. This Call of Duty World at War classic outskirts is reimagined as a high-tech facility designed by a futuristic society desperate to repair the Earth's atmosphere. So, not only does I think the story of this one actually sound pretty cool, because it's probably pretty realistic if we're honest, um, but you guys know I love Call of Duty World at War, and the last remake that we got was less than superb. It was pretty subpar. It was not very good. It really didn't feel at all like Bonsai. And so I'm pretty excited for this one. Hopefully they do it right. But this map pack I think will be the best one. We get two remakes in this one, which is what I have been hoping for. It would have been awesome, I think, if they had just done where it was all four was remakes. But who knows? Maybe they'll do, like, just individual ones later that people can buy individually or something would be pretty cool um, as well. But getting two that are remakes is really exciting because the remakes in this game are definitely the bar best parts. Um, the Empire is so good. Um, Nuketown is awesome. Skyjacked is a great map. And so I think that this will be best. I'm really excited for this map pack. If you guys want more info, go ahead and check out Charlie Intel on Twitter. He has like all of the info. There's a ton of stuff, more than what I just talked about here. I'm not talking about the zombies too much, mainly just because I'm not super into zombies. But um, I will read the description quick for you guys if you are interested in that. Salvation features Revelations, the long-awaited final chapter in the Origins zombie saga. In Revelations, we meet up with the Origins character after they've taken an epic journey through space and time. All of their struggles lead to this very moment. In this, the final chapter of the zombies experience, Richtofen, Dempsey, 
Takio and Nikolai finally come face to face with the mysterious Dr. Monty in the house. Confronted by an ancient evil, our heroes must fight the zombie horde once more in the final battle to save their immortal souls. So that's pretty exciting. We do actually get like kind of a story conclusion. So I might have to go through and play a lot of zombies to kind of just get um, a sense for the story and stuff before this one comes out. I just like haven't had a ton of time where I've wanted to devote to zombies and learning everything and all of this stuff, which is why I haven't played it too much in this game, mainly stuck to multiplayer. But this does actually sound like a very cool map and I'm excited for that as well. And I know zombies fans will be really excited for that. But anyways, guys that is all i have if you haven't checked out the g fuel giveaway make sure to do that and if you haven't subscribed make sure to do that as well anyways guys until next time i will see you online